The ladies and gentlemen, Cage Wars Academy presents three preliminary rounds for the amateur lightweight title. Introducing the challenger in the blue corner, weighing in at 155 pounds, representing TSG, Cameron Stewart! Jabs. Right, straight into a double leg from Cameron. Over on this. Cook able to get his hips underneath him. Yeah, but looking for the outside trip again. Nice knee up the center. Ooh, nice, nice knee. Very nice knee from David there. Low kick. Stewart with a low kick and then the overhand right. David looks very composed. A nice, he needs to get off them knees for it, going for that double leg. Stewart looking to control the head. Keep that nice wide base. Cook switched off to a single here. Again, needs to drop, drop his, he's himself a bit lower to go for this, to finish the single. David just needs to reshoot in, get his hips underneath him. Stewart's doing everything right, just kind of holding him in place, keeping that nice wide base. There's a guillotine, he's got to get nice. Nice takedown there, nice finish. David now just looking to figure out how he's going to pass to that better position. Very high guard by Stewart. Yeah, very high guard. Normally uh, with a high guard, you're more active, attacking a little bit more, but he doesn't seem to be attacking. He should be trying to control the arms. I mean, he po it. he's posturing ahead, but he's not pushing an arm through to go for like a triangle or anything. Doesn't look like he's trying to secure one of the arms to maybe go for an arm bar. Yeah, I'm not like not not sure what he, he's trying to set up. Like I said, he's just got a high gap, which he doesn't need to be this high. Especially when he's just like not controlling arm or got an overhook or anything. I mean, this just looks more like he's controlling the posture so he doesn't take any damage. But even still, and again. Back to that high guard lockdown position. At least he's got a, he's got an overhook this time. Let's see, does he use it? And David's got to look to start raining down some punches here. He's got the opportunity to do some ground and pound. He's brought his hips in. He's got to posture up where he can and try and land some punches. and then throw those punches. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if David does the same thing here. Yeah, gets back on top and just controls him. Nice combination by Stewart. They go closing the distance. As I thought David's going to look for a take. Oh, he, nice defense there. Stewart's yeah. got to press the pace here. 
I don't know if I would have taken a clean shot like that. Yeah, I got to set it up. Nice jab. Good combination yeah. traded and by And there, get to the body. This looks good for David. He keeps pushing forward. Stewart, like I said, needs to come forward himself. And Stewart just took a deep breath. Yeah, he looked at yeah. Good takedown defense, circle yeah. away. And he's making David pay for every time they're breaking, but I, it's like he takes his foot off the gas. Yeah, both, both guys are looking a little tired now. So this is gonna come down, who wants it more. Both stood here looking at each other now. Jab for jab. Nice uppercut. Knee to the body, low. Nice, there we go, he's gonna finish that, no. Knees to the thighs, knees to the thighs. Nice takedown by Stewart. Straight to mount. Stepped over, almost lost it, and he was able to step over in. Now he needs to settle. David should be able to recover half guard here. Or did it know he let go of the leg? He can't just hang on here. No. The ref will stop it if he doesn't keep moving. He's got to keep moving. Stewart's got to look to flatten him out. But he's going to want to slide that arm up underneath the chin. Yeah. Stewart's got to keep himself back, keep his hips low. Don't want to get too hard, he's going to slide off. Ten seconds left, he doesn't have a lot of time to work to try to lock this in. I think he's going to be saved by the bell. And that he was. Great way to end the second round for Stewart. Yeah, second, second man. Round. You'll get what I can give, and that's about it. Starting out of the third round, Stewart comes out with a combination. David's looking nice and tight. But at these young guys' age, they should be able to do free freeze. No problem. And the pace is frantic, so I'm seeing it looks like David's got a bit of spark, like a sense of urgency, which is nice. Punches are coming slow from both guys. Punches are coming slow and there's not a lot behind him. Yeah. There he's go. He's got his hands locked. He's right at his corner. There's no reason why he shouldn't finish this shot. Nice. Nice dump. Double-legged double, double dump. David's wincing, maybe taking deep breaths. He's still holding on to that neck, but that's he's just going to burn his arm out. He's wincing a lot, as you can see. I don't know if the takedown hurt him. Now he's trying to get that arm bar, possibly throw up a triangle. And there he does. He throws up that triangle. Nice pass. And Stewart gets a little bit wild. Yeah, Stewart got a little bit too excited and might have lost the position. And now he's going for that arm, arm bar. bar. Could still get this arm, the arm's still in danger. If I'm David, I'm worried about the, the arm. I'm not bothered about punching. I'm just watching what, watching that arm. Especially because it appears that his head's trapped in there as well. Stewart could be able to turn this into a triangle. What you wanna do is just put your shin right across his forehead. Not knee him in the forehead, shin across the forehead, and settle. David's figured out a way to pass that off. He's in a better da position there. David just needs to stand up and drag him off the cage. Pull him back in Yeah. to stop the, uh, the wall walk. Grab him from that hips and then just start 
scooting backwards. Just, I think he heard me. Gonna come down to this 30 seconds, who wants it more? And Cameron, he's not gonna get anything holding on to the head. No, he's got an arm in, there's no guillotine there, he's just trying to squeeze. Never gonna guillotine him from there. No. Nope. He needs to let go, push away. He's just burning his arms out, doing nothing. He's got 15 seconds, he needs to do something to actually move. I'm not sure what David's doing, he's trying to pop his head free, his chin's not in trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. We'll score the bout 29-28 Cook, 29-28 Stewart, and 30-27 for your winner by split decision. And still!